Hey guys, long time no see again. So today I'm gonna be showing you my Korean apartment slash Boshiwon because I am leaving. I didn't want to show it before because safety, but by the time you're watching this, I will have already moved out, so. first walk in there's this little area to put your shoes and then you know right next to the door is a little closet so I obviously just keep clothes in here then there's my desk area let me see if I can get a better shot okay so then this is my desk area and there's like extra storage up here and ignore this mess but here's my desk. It's all scratched up. That's how it was when I moved in. So <laughs> here is the main area. Here's the window. Here's the bed. Again, covering it off for privacy, even though while you're watching this, I will have already moved out. But yeah, here's the bed. I had a bunch of pictures up here, but they mostly fell down. But here's the windowsill. And right next to the bed, there's like this little room. And when I first came, I was like, is this an extra closet? But no. Wow, I don't know why I put the camera down. I guess it's like storage space, but this is like the AC. I honestly don't know what this is. If you know what this is, please let me know, but I have no idea what that is. So I just keep my suitcases in here and this is a fan they gave me because the AC stopped working for like a month, over a month actually, but that's another story. So moving right along, this is the kitchen area. Washing machine in Korea, dryers are not really a thing unless you're like rich or in like a luxury apartment. So when you wash your clothes, typically you just let it air dry. It's not as annoying as I thought it might be because like the washer spins so fast that it's basically almost dry when you take it out. Like it's not like soaking wet, you know? It's like damp when you take it out. So yeah, there's not really a stove, just this like portable stove, I guess, that was already here sink, fridge, microwave, and now for the most exciting part. This is a Korean wet bathroom, meaning that the shower is like the entire room. When I shower, everything in this room gets wet. Even the toilet, I just cleaned it. So like, I don't know if you're grossed out by toilets, don't look, but I just cleaned it. So I obviously like closed this but yeah, everything gets wet. It's wet in here right now because I just cleaned up. <laughs> and you definitely in Korea need shower slippers. There's mold and shit, so you need shower shoes. And I switched out the shower head. I got this one from Daiso. It has like little beads that I guess clean the water because in Korea the water is really harsh. So this just like makes it, I guess, less harsh. I don't know. Someone on TikTok said to buy it. So I bought it at Daiso for 5,000 won, which is like this much. And yeah, I just have like some skincare and stuff, you know. Is anyone interested in this? I don't know. Now let's get out of the wet bathroom, please. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just show you like all together the room. This is like everything. My desk, the room, kitchen not very exciting but yeah i have seen like all kinds of korean apartments and i definitely feel like mine as far as like goshiwans go is pretty big like this room is huge compared to some of the goshiwans i've seen it would literally be like the bed and a bathroom uh, a wet bath right next to it no kitchen, a tiny little desk, and that's about it. So I'm very grateful to have found this apartment, although it has been <sighs> quite a 
quite shitty actually which is also why like i'm not gonna tell you guys the name of this place if you find it cool but i'm not gonna tell you guys the name of this building because i don't recommend it like i really don't i'm not trying to gatekeep i'm trying to help you out <laughs> like honestly the only reason i chose this building was because of the location and proximity to iwa if you don't know i go to iwa women's university to study korean and this apartment is like walking distance from iwa like i mentioned before the aircon didn't work for the majority of the time i was here and it was really 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 hot i was getting bitten by mosquitoes sweating it was bad you know first world problems at like the peak of summer no ac really sucks this alarm there's an alarm here that randomly goes off and it is the loudest literally the loudest thing i've ever heard in my life i think and it's so scary and jarring and it's gone off at like one in the morning two in the morning and there's not like there's no emergency like there's nothing wrong it just goes off for a long time and it's so scary like it's not like a bing, it's like bing. yeah there's construction it's really loud when i first moved in it was so dirty in here the bathroom's pretty gross and it's a little expensive too 600 to 700 something dollars per month here which is okay for korea i think but all the other factors like the staff isn't great either like i just really wouldn't recommend this place to you guys that is it that is my korean apartment um i think by the time you're watching this i will be almost like about to leave korea or have left korea and i'm i want to do a whole video talking about it i know i really didn't vlog much but yeah, I'm talking too much now, but thanks for watching. Bye.